Asteria Kremlin Palace Hotel. This luxury five-star hotel resort is located on its very own private beachfront in Antalya. Featuring a boardwalk over the Mediterranean Sea, you will find the most spectacular views of the mountains in the distance. Inspired by the original Kremlin in Russia, this hotel is all-inclusive and features everything from various restaurants to water slides and even their own doctor's surgery. In fact, this hotel is so big that you need a map just to find your way around. This map looks like a theme park and just to give you an idea of how big it is, cue the time lapse. Now, this hotel is so big that it took me around 10 minutes just to get from one side of the hotel to the other. And that's power walking. And just to give you an even better idea of how big the hotel is, this footage has been sped up by 500%. is huge. Boasting over 800 rooms, this place requires a lot of maintenance and features entertainment areas with bars and loads of seats. However, when night falls, this particular seating area turns into a party. So now that you know the background of the hotel, I'm going to take you through the inside of the hotel. Starting from the hotel entrance, we've got the reception desks here, and this is the lobby. You have a cafe in here, which serves tea, patisserie, breakfast. From 11am, this patisserie serves the most amazing fresh sandwiches, cakes, biscuits and loads of desserts. If you'd prefer a wider range for breakfast, be sure to head up to the buffet which has unlimited amounts of cereals, hot breakfast, cold breakfast, omelettes, toppings, sauces, you name it, they've got it. However, if you're like me and you miss breakfast due to waking up late, you can always head over to the Colosseum. The inside of the Colosseum doubles up as an entertainment arena at night time. Serving everything from fresh fruit, hamburgers and chicken wraps, pizza and waffles and pancakes, this place also has a bar and a salad bar and ice cream bar. Opening around lunchtime, this place is ideal if you're looking for something to eat while you're lounging by the pool. My favourite however was the waffles and pancakes. Cooked fresh every single day, these pancakes and waffles were served with melted chocolate or coconut. With a view of the Kremlin from the seating area, you were never short of sunshine. Back to the lobby. 
a gym upstairs and over here you have a salon to do your nails, haircut, spa, some spa treatments now I say some spa treatments because this place had their very own hammam offering Turkish baths, massages and many other spa treatments some boutique shops here, clothes shops, designer stuff and you've got a jewellery shop, a kids clothes shop. If you're looking for a wider range of shops, there are some locally to the hotel, however they're quite extortionate. So if you're looking for somewhere a bit more moderately priced, why don't you check out my video Places to Visit in Antalya, Turkey. I'll be showing you places where you can haggle down prices and get the most out of your money. This is the bar in here. This is the rest of the bar. It just goes on for ages. We've got more clothes shops and a like, snack shop that's crazy for chocolate sweets. If you're looking for a wider variety, why not check out Migros, one of Antalya's most popular supermarkets, which has everything you could possibly need and more. And we have dinner up there, that's like a buffet. This buffet was unreal. Serving breakfast, lunch, dinner, night buffet and early breakfast, the food here was incredible. If you're enjoying the video, leave us a like, subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell to be notified of any future uploads. With all kinds of hot dishes and cold dishes, salads, garnishes, meats, cheeses, you name it, they had it. To any Muslim travellers wondering, the food in this hotel is halal, so tuck in and enjoy. The hotel also offers a variety of restaurants from Mexican, Italian, Turkish and this seafood restaurant which is beautifully located directly on the seafront. And then through there is the swimming pool and everything. This is literally just the lobby. The next day I heard a noise and decided to check it out. It was hundreds and hundreds of birds chirping away. When the hotel is maintained so well, can you blame them for wanting to be here? Next up, we have the hotel sports ground, which features multiple tennis courts, volleyball courts, basketball courts, and much more. Inside the hotel, you'll also find a games room, and behind the basketball courts is a private beach area, which you can book out with the hotel or you can also book one of these cabins on top of the sea. I had booked a package with the hotel spa which included five massages, two Turkish baths and a facial and I decided to take the facial on the day before we left. If you go on YouTube, I have, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Please, yeah. tea, okay. Aww. Although I never got her name, this lady was incredibly friendly and I wish her all the best. As were most of the hotel staff. We were well looked after and I really enjoyed myself at the Kremlin. It's boiling hot today and it's our last day in the Kremlin Hotel. I'm gonna miss it, obviously. It was really nice, like having it all inclusive was so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday vlog i had fun making it we'll see you guys in the next holiday vlog peace out tnz nation <laughs> Are you